Good morning and welcome to Mission Control Houston. We're inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room. All is uh, quiet this morning as the team is just watching over systems aboard the station as the three crew members who are living aboard the complex now are in a sleep shift or resting for the rest of the day after having worked a busy uh, day uh, Thursday and into the night uh, into Friday morning with the return of three crew members. The uh, Soyuz TMA-22 carried Expedition 30 Commander Dan Burbank and Flight Engineers Anton Shkaplarov and Anatoly Ivanishin to Earth. They landed in Kazakhstan at 6.45 a.m. Central Time this morning. They had undocked from the International Space Station at 3.18 a.m., which officially ended their stay at the uh, station, which was 163 days and a total of 165 days in space. And uh, with the undocking, it ended the Expedition 30 mission. The crew had spent uh, much of the week with uh, preparing for its departure from the space station, including a handover of command from Burbank to cosmonaut Oleg Kononenko for Expedition 31. In addition to the Soyuz uh, preparations, the crew also worked on some other uh, cargo activities on board the station this week relocating some food containers for easy access and use, and also unpacking cargo from the European Space Agency's Automated Transfer Vehicle 3 and putting that into final locations on the station. The crew members were also prepacking cargo for return on the SpaceX Dragon spacecraft and training for that uh, capsule's arrival at the station as it will be uh, grappled by the space station's robotic arm Canada Arm 2. That uh, mission was delayed a week earlier in this week as SpaceX uh, announced it needed a little more time to uh, finalize uh, hardware testing and analysis of data, and the new target launch date is May 7th. Crew members also worked with science experiments at uh, some times during the week. Uh, European Space Agency astronaut uh, Andre Kuipers took measurements while he was exercising and uh, provided that for a study of the effects of long-duration spaceflight on a body's aerobic capacity. And several crew members participated in an experiment where they uh, provided biological samples, such as blood and urine, to uh, study the effects on the immune system. Crew members also took time to interact with students here on Earth in three separate occasions this week. Kuipers uh, participated in an ESA event called Spaceship Earth with thousands of students in Europe. Clippers uh, Burbank and astronaut Don Pettit joined together for a des destination station event with students in North Carolina in conjunction with the space station exhibit called Destination Station, which is on display at the North Carolina Museum of Natural Sciences April 28th through May 20th. And Burbank participated in a hand pass using the amateur radio on board the station to speak with students in Italy. While here on the ground, the next three crew members to launch the space station have been preparing, preparing for their mission. The Expedition 31 crew has been going through uh, qualification training in Star City this week, that including NASA astronaut Joe Acaba and cosmonauts Gennady Padalka and Sergey Revin. They also went to two ceremonial activities in Moscow, all in preparation before their uh, departing that area for Baikonur, Kazakhstan next week in getting ready for their May 14th launch to the space station to round out the Expedition 31 crew and uh, the full six-person crew complement to conduct research aboard the complex for the uh, summer.